So I'd entertain a motion to open. Such. Open. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And the roll call of members. Why don't you start? Cindy Courier. Kathy Zaremba. Damon Jesperson. John Farrar. All right. No one else is present. And updates. It's been such a long time since we have been together for this meeting. It's been months. So, uh, as I said in the Count on Aging meeting, I met with Eric Svahn and Bob Connors to go over what we've done as far as a layout of space needs and square footage. They felt very uh, comfortable with what we had started with and uh, they asked that we create a Google Doc or a spreadsheet so it's easier to move things around and do calculations based on the work that we've done already. Um, I have not had a chance to do that yet, but that is the next thing on my agenda as far as the space needs, and I, I don't remember what everyone else was working on because it's been such a long time. So I don't know if you've had any opportunity or what you've been able to do since the last meeting. It's the same detail I made the rounds from Amesbury to Newburyport to Ipswich. Um, the second meeting at Raleigh, the central issue is Raleigh is doing what we're doing, looking for a new house. Mm -hmm. Their uh, Central Street old school house is not adequate. Um, new report is blessed with the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. and, the, and they're blessed also with proximity, as is Ipswich, with the, uh, the office for the VSO, um, as well as um, enormous square footage. I, I described to you the last time I, I went in and met with uh, Brother Hunt and, and my goodness, uh, there, were, there were 30 or 40 people playing ping pong and, and, uh, and there were youngsters, uh, nobody over 50 in the building, uh, using the Council on Aging location, uh, very youthful and his comment to me as we walked about was that, uh, and I'll bet you 60% of these people don't live in your report. It's just a, a place to go and enjoy time. And then in Ipswich, they had three, three different rooms. Uh, one of them was a, 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 a just a feast location, food galore on two walls. And the other room was a movie theater. They were both jammed. And the third room was card games, card games and board games. And there were six or eight people at each table playing various games, chess, Back then, I think I didn't walk into the room. It would have been an intrusion. And then I, as I was leaving the building, there were two successive small rooms where watercolor painting was going on. They had tripods all over the room, and somebody was walking around commenting, giving advice on how to apply and how to work. Very nice. So, I mean, but again, that's massive spaces. And the, the entrance complex is, uh, is it's City Hall. Mm. And COA just happens to be plugged into one of the wings. The VSO is downstairs. We don't have such. No, sadly, we don't have a glut of space. And what about you guys? We weren't, we just did our square footage and that was our last sort of project that we right. worked on. Yeah. Yeah. But we are anxious, anxiously awaiting a plan. The next steps. Yes. People are asking us. They do ask. This is a nice space, they'll say. How long are you here for? Mm. Well, <laughs> well, we don't know. We <laughs> don't know. Where are you going from here? Well, we don't know. <laughs> That's a very good question. But we do know, we were at, we went to the school the other day, last week, we had to, because we used the back room for storage for ourselves, so yeah. we were bringing over some of our decorations, getting out other things that we need, and the back room was connected to the classroom that we were in. And we were thinking, this could never work again for us. Mm. Back at the school in that one room. Mm. That's pretty confining. Yes. 
in one tiny private office for you? It, it would be so impossible for us. We wouldn't be able to do what we do. No. no. The no. program would change. The program has grown considerably. And I think a lot of that is due to having adequate space to do things. True. So, I mean, some of it, of course, is due to hard work and dedication. I don't want to belittle that, but I think you, know, you can only do so much when you're in a room smaller than this. Right. Oh, my goodness. Right. So, so, we did think about that last week when we were over there. What's yeah. going to happen? Well, that's <coughs> that's part of why we're having these meetings is to try and get ahead of it rather yeah. than oh, the lease ends in four months. What are we going to do? Right. Oh. Uh, you know. Yeah. Because sometimes people have a tendency to just keep the can down the road a little bit. So. Um, one of the things I realized uh, a little while ago is that we have not taken meeting minutes, and so I need someone who's willing to go back and watch our video recordings and do minutes from the meetings. Um, I don't know if anyone is uh, eager to do that sort of work, but I think it is important that we have it documented so that we And all that would be required is to write down who opened the meeting, you know, what was generally discussed, any motions that were made, and record who voted on closing the meeting. So it's very basic information, but I think I anticipate as this moves into the next stage, if we don't have those minutes done appropriately, there will be a fodder for some of the political detractors. So that's why I want to get it done. Um, it's a terrible task to go, have to go back, but I think it's only six or seven meetings. So is anyone willing to do it without being assigned to do it? <laughs> I would be willing if someone showed me how to do it. You we, know, we'll, okay. we'll work on it. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. I will uh, take Eric's notes and apply them to what we've done so far and create the Google Doc or spreadsheet. And I think as far as it goes, those are the most important next steps that I see. Is there other things that anyone can think of that is important to do right now? They were confident with what we had provided? Yes, okay. they were uh, very pleasantly surprised by the amount of work that we had put in, okay. and they thought it was a very good foundation to okay. be moving forward with. So, um, like I said, Eric, Bob said he would take it to an OPM to get some rough numbers. You know, right now, it's a square footage. It doesn't have things like stairs or right. hallways right. or any of those things. So it's a it's a very rough right. set of numbers. Without a design and a space, you know, we can't get very close, but we can get in that ballpark. Okay. Um, because, you know, if we're on a, if the, if when we look at sites, the best site happens to be a very small space and we have to have an elevator, that changes the cost considerably, you know, if we have to be on two or three floors because that's how we can be adjacent to something we need to be adjacent to or in a place with adequate septic or sewage, you know. So there will be a lot of questions that are answered once the site has been selected. Or, I mean, we're not even going to select it, we're going to recommend it. Right. But those sorts of things will determine how to construct the building and how the costs will then flow. You know, if we can be, there's certain savings in height and there's certain costs in height. You know, there are definitely advantages for the counts on aging, on being on ground floor and one level. 
But is there space to do that? Is there space? Does it fit somewhere within the town that we can either afford or already own? Okay. You know, there are there are a lot of questions there. So. Okay, so our task will be to work on the minutes. Yes. And I will work on. You will work on the Google Doc or the The switch. Google Doc. Um, do you think you guys can do it inside of a month? Yeah, sure. Even with all the vacations and things you talked about. Maybe not. <laughs> now that you say that, yeah. Um, do we want to then meet in two months or? Yes. Okay, so we set our next meeting at 8.19, but <clears throat> So we'd be looking at September 16th. Sounds good. So I would entertain a motion to have our next meeting on September 16th, directly following the Council on Aging meeting. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you guys. Thank you.